Now, what is the secret of this amazing device? This is the giveaway. This is a copper cylinder that is free to spin. If I hold the copper cylinder alongside, there's nothing much going on. But if I take this ring, which wants to float up there, and I force it down alongside the copper, then the copper begins to spin. And if I put it on the other side, it spins the other way. It is as if there was an upward sweeping something which is causing the copper to spin. And we call that upward sweeping something a traveling magnetic field. Wanted to show some similarities between what Eric Lathwaite is talking about in these clips in relation to Professor John Searle's technology and how these characteristics are inherent in the SEG's design. Here we have a copper cylinder free to rotate. Here we have a large copper ring that I'm going to spin using a motor. This is to show that there is a sweeping motion around a spinning copper disc. And just like the eddy currents are generating that sweeping motion in Eric Lathwaite's video, we have it being generated between the roller and stator. I want to show how a piece of paper can be slipped underneath here. It doesn't affect the rotation in the least. We can slow this down. Let's see, it starts to touch the surface. there is a sweeping motion of eddy current between the roller and the stator. And it doesn't matter what configuration you have it in. If it's looking like this, or if you have it oriented like this, there's an eddy current between the roller and the stator. Now at first, Fernando Morris put a neodymium magnet you can feel this repulsion between this spinning copper and this very strong magnet. And yeah, I'm pushing and it will not want to touch this copper. So if you leave it right on the top here, it'll levitate. I can't do so at this time because of this other demonstration connected to it. But if you just have a regular magnet on top of there, it will just levitate and not spin. magnet within this copper sheath, but it's simulating a wave. The block wall is making like a serpent's tail motion. And that's what creates the spin and the lift. I, I was able to impress the magnetic waveforms, just like the man said, even though I never heard about it, there's no books on it or anything. It was just trial and error. When I first started noticing something, it was very small variations, and I didn't know if it was real or accidental. But uh, after a while, you know, yeah, I can give it uh, quite a waveform. So we know 